Into much more than a train ride, it's a step back in time. For the safety and comfort of all passengers, we ask that you remain seated, keeping arms and to the trams which carried holiday makers to the coast before local roads were built in 1926. They're being pulled by Morton, one of Queensland's original coal-fired cane locomotives. Morton was first built in Germany by Krauss and brought to Australia in 1905, the first of seven locomotives that would gradually replace horse-drawn carriages, carting sugar cane to the Morton Mill, right here on the Sunshine Coast. Morton retired after 63 years of faithful service and was replaced by a modern diesel locomotive. After a few years rest, he was lovingly restored and came out of retirement for use here at the Ginger Factory. Celebrating our community of hope, we've suspended hundreds of rainbow umbrellas within the tree canopy, presenting the Ginger Factory's first collaborative art installation, the Rainbrella Project. Shipmates, when you're rocking inside, you can see the large green building, which is home to the Overboard Boat Ride. You'll find the entrance to this great adventure at the red and yellow post. Go aboard with the gingerbread man on this fantastic voyage around the world. Will he escape the clutches of the hungry chefs? Find out when you embark on this Mirandering water adventure. Unlimited rides on Morton and Overboard both included in our annual VIP pass. For more information on this great deal, see our friendly staff at the ticket desk inside the Ginger Shop. On your left, you can see the Ginger Factory Live B Show. Shh! Can you hear the buzz in the air? This unique experience lets you see right inside a real beehive and learn about one of nature's hardest working creatures. Did you know that bees like to dance? And how many bees does it take to make a jar of honey? Learn this and other fascinating bee facts by joining our next bee show. sampling in our tasting kitchen and depart regularly throughout the day. As we leave the tourism precinct, we enter the home of Budrum Ginger. It's called Budrum Ginger because that's where it all began. Not long before World War I, some pieces of raw ginger found their way to Budrum, where high rainfall and humidity produce conditions ideal for growing this unusual crop. The interruption to supply of processed ginger from China during World War II provided the opportunity for growers in the Budrum area to form the Budrum Ginger Growers Cooperative. Budrum was the perfect location for the original ginger factory, but population growth and transportation difficulties up and down the steep slopes of the mountain forced many crops into the lower-lying surrounding areas. The ginger factory processing facility eventually followed suit, moving 15 minutes north to this site in Yandina in 1979, retaining the Budrum ginger name. Budrum 
ginger is now globally recognized as the world's finest ginger, with Bundrum itself becoming one of the Sunshine Coast's most popular residential areas. Yandina, the new home of Bundrum Ginger, was surveyed in 1870, making it the oldest town on the Sunshine Coast. The original inhabitants of the Yandina area belong to the Gubby Gubby people, who named the town Yandina. Yan meaning go, and Dina meaning on foot. Go on foot.
we have to come back again. <laughs>